My name is Jody, and I'm going to be going over how to install Apex on your device. Before anything, remember you can always pause the video or slow down the video speed if something's going too fast. Firstly, I'm going to be going over how to install the game for new players as well as existing beta players. Then, I'll go over some potential issues you might run into and how to fix them. Timestamps will be in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Let's start with new players. You have two options to install the game. Firstly, you can choose to download all the files through the patcher. To do this, simply download the patcher from the site, which is also linked below, put it in a separate folder, and run it. While downloading it, your browser might prompt to delete the file as it thinks it's a virus. Don't worry, as that's just the false positive. Simply choose to keep the file intact and run it. Again, while attempting to run the file, your antivirus might prompt you saying the file is a virus as well. Make sure to add the whole folder as an exception to your antivirus. If you don't know how to do that, then Google is your friend and will help you out with your specific antivirus. However, I'll quickly go over it for Windows Defender. Open up your Windows search bar and navigate to Virus and Threat Protection. Now press on the Manage Settings option and scroll down to the Exclusions tab. Now click on Add or Remove Exclusions. And once you're there, simply press Add an Exclusion, select Folder, and navigate it to the folder where you are attempting to install Apex. As a second option, you can choose to download the full client. Use one of the mirror links below to download the 7-zip file. Then after downloading it to your desired folder, right-click the 7-zip file and choose Extract with 7-zip. Go through the extracting process, and you should be all set up to run the patcher. Lastly, returning beta players can simply delete everything in their previous folder except for the app data folder. Then, Download the new patcher from this link, which will also be in the description. Simply put the patcher into your folder containing the app data folder and run it. When launching the patcher, you might also note that the turbo speed option is gone. But don't worry, as that's been implemented into the patcher itself. It's automatically enabled. To end off, let's go over some potential issues you might run into. Issue 1. Patcher gives an error message saying this file cannot be patched right now, try again later. A lot of people might run into this error and it might happen multiple times during patching. However, all you have to do is restart the patcher. And don't worry, it'll continue right where it left off, even if the percentage starts at zero. If you're getting errors about DLL files or Visual Studio or DirectX, then it's probably related to those. Update to the latest version using the links below. Those are the main errors you might run into. However, if you're still stuck with something and can't figure it out, you can create a ticket in our Discord channel and get personal assistance from a member in our team. The Discord link is linked below. We can offer personal assistance in English, Tagalog, German, and French. Now, hopefully everything else goes well with your install, and I'll see you in game.